could see a dense pall of smoke behind us getting bigger and bigger, following us like a river. We could hear women screaming, children crying and men shouting. Most people have lost faith in the gods and were convinced that this must be their last night on earth, the end of the world. Pompeii and its citizens were buried under a blanket of cinders and ash spewed out by Vesuvius. The city lay buried and forgotten for 19 centuries. Upon excavation, plaster casts were made of bodies taken from cavities in the consolidated ash. These cone-shaped volcanoes, like Vesuvius, are produced by converging plates and are characterized by lavas of granitic composition. Often violently eruptive in nature, they are found along mountain belts and island arcs, particularly in the notorious Ring of Fire that surrounds the Pacific Ocean. The second kind of volcano occurs for the most part along huge mid-oceanic ridges and is characterized by basaltic lava. Only in a few places do these ridges and their volcanoes break the surface. On January 23, 1973, the Westman Islands off Iceland experienced a major eruption of this kind. I live on a small island of Heima, which felt some little earth tremors but none of us expected the eruption to open a fissure a mile long, just outside our little fishing town of Vestmania. Sirens wailed to wake up the town, and we were told to go down to the harbor. Fishing boats were standing by to take our families to the mainland. In Iceland, the plates are splitting and spreading. Lava erupts at the surface through fissures or rifts. Burning gases escape without much violence. On the second day, all activity died away except for one crater in the middle of the fissure. changed direction and ash and cinders rained down on the town. Hot cinders slice through the window panes as easily as a knife through butter. Explosive activity, like that on Heimei, occurs along the fissures. Usually the lava floods the countryside. The lava can flow at speeds of 30 miles per hour. later, a great wall of lava moved in the direction of the town and the harbor. In six days, one-fifth of the town had disappeared. The buildings that didn't burn were crushed. that pumpy seawater on the lava seemed to slow down its advance, 
We worked day and night to stop it before it blocked our harbor entrance. In one eruption, lava may spread over several hundred square miles, building up enormous plateaus of basaltic rock. Where the lava spills into the sea, it forms some of the newest land on Earth. This unique underwater film reveals for the first time how lava behaves in a submarine eruption. All the sound is natural and authentic. The outer lava rapidly chills in contact with the water. The fluid lava breaks out of this skin to form pillow-shaped blobs. As the pillow cools, the lava shrinks, the gas contracts, and it collapses inwardly. Pillow lavas can be found today on every continent. Deep within a lava flow, the rock cools very slowly. As it cools, it shrinks and sometimes fractures into these remarkably regular columns. Monuments to past eruptions post the Earth's surface. Through the immensity of geological time, erosion has removed most of the clues to their past existence. But lava flows resist weathering and are conspicuous in older rocks. These pillow lavas in the Northwest Territories are several billion years old. Here, pillow lavas have been draped with sediments deposited from a long extinct sea.